to Dosiago Corporation. And today we're going to be creating a browser box instance on Amazon AWS EC2. So we have our AWS console here, and we'll just uh, go to the instances page and uh, launch an instance. So we'll just create the simplest Amazon Linux instance that we can free to your eligible 64-bit T2 micro. Um, so we use our little T pair that we have. Uh, and we'll use an existing security group where we've already created um, the correct inbound rules to open up the ports that we're going to be needing uh, to uh, enable the application to serve. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later, just to ensure that you know how to um, add those inbound rules to your security group. But basically, and we'll just give it a you know 30 gigabyte, because we're going to be installing quite a lot of software on there, so you may as well have more hard disk space. That's all we need for now. So we've launched the instance. And we, we're going to wait for it to come up. It'll be up fairly quickly, but what we're going to do now is it's important to um, add the domain name to our uh, name rules. So basically, we can't actually issue a certificate for these types of AWS uh, reverse DNS host names. It's not allowed by the Let's Encrypt policy. So we'll need to be... Um, creating a DNS mapping to this IP address here. Uh, we've got our DNS mapping to this IP address here. So we're all ready to uh, SSH into the server, which is running. So let's open up SSH right now and check that out. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is install git. And then we want to clone the repository. And then we want to start the install process. So here, the first argument is we want to pass the server's host name so that we can oh, wrong one, <clears throat> so that we can create the uh, certificates automatically. And then the next one we want to pass is just an email address for Let's Encrypt to agree to the terms of service of Let's Encrypt. So now we're just kind of <clears throat> in the install process. Yes, we agree to the terms. Install script's just setting things up. Uh, installing Let's in, in, in Encrypt. Um, on Amazon Linux, you have to install Let's Encrypt using pip. So it's just like a little bit of a different approach there. got our certificate, so we proceed. Now we're installing NVM and Node. <clears throat> and now we're beginning the install of the application. So this will probably take about five minutes or so. So, you know, feel free to sit back and brew yourself a nice cup of chill. Do some breathing exercises or whatever whatever takes your fancy, you know, tune out, watch some YouTube or or you could just, you know, stare at this screen and examine everything. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, 
All right, so we're going to continue there. And we do want to run the setup machine script. So that's installing all the dependencies. All these dependencies are just various things that are uh, useful for the application, for Google Chrome, uh, fonts, um, and some other associated things like audio and the secure doc viewer. Today we're probably going to skip the secure doc viewer install for this demonstration just because it's going to take a lot longer installing lots and lots of fonts and um, document conversion packages, so we'll probably just skip that. Although well, it's good to see this server is very fast anyway, even though it's the T2 micro, everything's proceeding really quickly. You can see the current Google Chrome is being installed, version 119. Now we're just installing all the node packages, node dependencies for all the different services, all the different parts of the application. And we'll skip this for now. So this means we'll be starting off with just the secure document viewer switched off and all the other services will be functioning as normal. So we're coming to the end of the uh, install process now faster than expected. So now we'll get it up and running. Now the port that I've opened on the security group is centered around 999. So remember with BrowserBox you need a, uh, a slice of five ports in sequence. So we've gone from like 9997 through to 10002 or something like that. Um, we've opened those ports up in the security group. So remember with BrowseWalks, you always need those five ports um, centered around the main application port. Just the other ports are for the other services like audio and documents and so on. So I'll set that up and it seems everything to work well. So I'll start the application. We've got our login link. All right, so let's log in here to the application. see we've loaded everything there well. So let's just do a quick search and check if sound and everything is working well. Remember this is all happening on a T2 micro instance. So I think the performance is actually quite surprising. Especially given that what you're seeing is, um, now that sound is coming through, but I've got my earphones in, so you can hear that. So we've confirmed that the app application works correctly. We've got uh, WebRTC switched on. Uh, we've got audio active, there's only one person connected. Yeah, so basically that's what you want to see. Um, and so that was a pretty quick and painless setup of BrowserBox on Amazon EC2 using Amazon Linux. And yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it essentially. Uh, yeah, I just, I just want to note that the, the EC2 instances seem to provide really good performance and really low ping. You know, this, this is in a region somewhere in the US and I'm connecting to it from uh, 
an IP in Europe right now. So it's actually um, very fast considering the distance in between. All right. So again, if you have any, any questions, reach out to us at um, sales at dosiago, D-O-S-Y-A-G-O.com or make a comment on the YouTube video. Check out our other videos on YouTube for more tutorials and have a great day.